All right, welcome on back, folks, to some more armor core. So anyway, we figured out a way to slap on the detonating bazooka, so we're going to give it a shot. Um, we ended up getting some new arms. Look pretty cool. And then, um... Well, yeah, I think it was... I think that's all we did. We just got those arms, and they were able to hold, uh, carry a little bit more. Um, eventually, we'll probably look at getting some different legs. Oh, we, that, that's right. We did the legs, too. So we, we got the, uh, the uh, VP422s, which were the ones that I was originally looking at. But it doesn't, doesn't look too bad. I'm not... A big fan on the uh, the head here. Thought about going this, like, because it actually looks pretty good together. But uh, we lose lose some AP, like lose some AP. We lose some attitude stability. We lose some um, defense performance. So, I mean, it's it's not much. Like, we're losing 120 AP. Losing 3 on the defense performance. And then 28 on the attitude stability. But we gain 1 on boost speed. And we gain... You know, a little bit to system recovery. So, I don't, fuck, I don't know. We might just run it. I mean, 9340 is still quite a bit of health. Plus, it just, it looks cleaner. Fuck it. We're, we're, we're running it. We're saving it. We're doing it. Alright. Anyway, this episode, we are going to tackle... I was going to wait, uh, because of how quick we went through with the F fights, the rank F fights. I was going to wait until we had uh, maybe like E and D. But uh, I also noticed that this one had four versus this one having three. So we're going to go ahead and tackle them. Plus, I want to try out the the new stuff. The, uh, the detonating bazooka, mostly. So anyway, let's jump to it. So Nozak, a bitter promise, an independent mercenary who snuck onto Rubicon, hoping to get rich quick. Taking advantage of the chaos brought about the extraplanetary corporations for rays. Under Nozak's economic theory, the funds of others are but extensions of his own resources. Thus, he continues to take on debt with no intention of repayment. That's that's pretty smart. That's fucking genius. As in his eyes, the money was his anyway. Oh. Okay. Okay, um, okay, um, this does have the benefit of allowing him to buy the latest in corporate technology. As soon as it hits the market, he considers the power of his AC and asset to his credit score. His credit score is probably shit. Anyway, let's go see if we can whoop his ass. I don't know, the last one kind of whooped our ass. Evaluation program number 26. Oh man, this Entering rank e. yeah, it's kind of... I like the arms, I liked, I liked Subject the, the legs, but that promise. chest, mm, Call sign, no, mm -mm. color scheme, it's kind of meh, that yellow just throws Commencing it off. Evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. Oh, look at that damage and stagger hits. It fucking hits. Oh, boy. Sit down. Heavy impact. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Oh, <laughs> get explosion.
some chippies. And his emblem. Hell yeah. Not gonna use it, but cool. We'll have it. Alrighty. Arena. Be it six. Mater link. How do you say that? Mater link? Six squad leader of the Vespers. The Archibus Group's Augmented Human Squad. Mate, I'm just gonna call Mater. Mater is a product of Generation 8, which was held to have advanced the process to the point of rendering all previous generations obsolete, bringing about a new age of augmentation. Unfailingly loyal to Archibus, she has. Oh, she has a reliable track record in the field and her conduct during missions has established her as a risk averse problem solver all right let's go ahead and give you a whirl so the only time that i've noticed that uh that aptitude evaluation the heavy impact uh, ac build kind of alters is when it's a uh, quick boy like they're so quick it's hard to get hits with the uh, with the impact or like the uh, weapons that we have they just dodge around so much that it, they just don't damn man Oh, wow, wasn't expecting that, uh, that laser. Okay, so defensive bubbly boys makes this AC kind of struggle a little bit too. Little A, hey, we got a log from uh. About this little uh, Z, I think. Warrior of the Rubicon Liberation Front as an infant, Z was taken to Rubicon by her parents, who, tempted by the promise of riches from coral mining, sought to make an illegal entry to the planet. Only Z survived the, uh, the crash landing. She came under the guardianship of Uncle Flatwell of the Rubicon Liberation Front. And at the core of an AC was the young orphan's cradle as she grew up to become a coral warrior. Pretty cool. The uh, see how we fare. Arena combat aptitude evaluation program number twenty. Got a grenade launcher. E. New grenade launchers. Oh. Subject AC UAU. Call UAU. Sign, little Z. Z. Commencing evaluation. After my own heart with those grenade launchers. System 
activating combat mode. Stunned a lot. That was a big hit. Okay, so I think I see how I want to run this. So, like, I'm going to keep the Gonna keep the um the grenade launcher for when they get staggered because I just do massive damage with it and then just focus on hitting them with the the detonating bazooka to build up the the stagger. And then when they get into that stagger state, just oh oh oh. Alright. Uh arena. V7 Swineburn. Seventh squad leader of the Vespers, the Archibus Group's augmented human squad, Swineburn, Swin, I'm adding an E to it for some reason, Swinburn, <laughs> is a product of Generation 7, the first to receive experimental augmentation using coral substitution technology. This granted him enhanced aptitude as a pilot without the usual complications, but with no obvious indication of either efficacy or potential side effects. Swinburne's fears and doubts turned into an overpowering paranoia, final jewel to crown his odious personality. Alright, let's take heavy impact in and see what the hell happens. Arena combat aptitude evaluation oh, he's a tetrapod. Rank e. final Didn't expect a tetrapod. He might AC. have... Guidance. I think he might have us, to be honest. Commencing evaluation. But we'll see. Main system. We'll see. Combat mode. I don't know, I can I can coast for a little bit too. A big daddy hit whatever he just did man that thing's fucking destructive Dude. Oh. oh, he got me. Okay, okay, I'll get him this time. Get him this time. Cause yeah, restart that program. I see. I was wasn't paying attention what to look for, and then after I uh, found what to look for, it was already too late. Right there. Is it?
I can't get hit by that. I can't get hit by that again. That was too close. That was way too close. Target destroyed. This concludes E rank evaluation. Well done. Oh, yeah. Yay, rank E evaluation is done. Okay, we got some monies. Oh, Ogre would be fun. Hmm. Would be fun too. So is there a difference between those Melander Leagues and the ones in the shop? Oh, yeah, there is. So those look like they're just like all around better. And... Anti-explosive defense goes up quite a bit. performance so that would be good for my other or for my best boy this range assist goes up why is that let's buy that now let's go to ac design ac let's see i just want to make sure i save it let's load Beat for melee performance. It goes down. Energy low goes down. Rust. Rust upper thrust. Quick burst thrust. Go. See, I like my quick burst thrust. Oh, so that. Expecting it to be better. Oh well. So, okay, so if I go with this, I get an energy shortfall though. But I guarantee my energy would recharge a lot faster though. So, energy recharge and supply recovery. Let's 
What's my energy load at? Total energy load is 29.09. The energy output is 21.29. So... Even if I take no, still the energy, wow. No, that's what I like. Laser blade definitely has more attack power or impact, but you know, I just feel like this one's a better one. I like that one, the, the first one, but that second swing on that is just, I don't like it. I try to like it, but then I'm just like, mm, I just don't. Um, I try to find Let's see if I went with like a different. I go. Okay, hold on. Back to this. My energy shortfall is like quite a bit though. as I want that because of the the recharge just don't see it happening okay I'm gonna stick with that though try the napalm or we could do the missile launcher I wasn't a huge fan of it but just a good good quick mission to test out acs and that's what i love about it plus it gives you good money yep can't beat that so napalm laser blade verticals and then plasmas i mean we still have decent decent ap we have 87 Out running the rocket, that was crazy.
I honestly think I like the napalm on this. I mean, it's it. Shaka makes more sense because you know it's melee build. Or kind of like high emphasis on the on the on the laser blade. What was the other one I wanted to try? missile launcher so let's do let's do it one more time missile launcher see how I like it oh no 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 we're not we're not we're not trying to do that I don't know I just feel like I don't know the missile launcher I I don't think I'm gonna like because it, it's gonna be like Having just and mode. having like a oh, just a fucking hand holding like missile pop target. thing that we already started. have two on our shoulders, so it's like uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's literally what it's like. It's like oh man, look at this! I look at all those missiles I just rained down. Like this, that's not what I want to do with this build. So. I mean, it works really well. It's like, I can just sit back, rain missiles left and right, while my sword, uh, sword charges up, but... Stick with the napalm. So, uh, I do want to get more blue in here. I like color set, but lots of blue. Some sonic blue. That's no, that's not what we want. Oh, no, 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 no. Take, take this back. Airframe, there we go. Oh, a little darker, there we go. Sub. Sonic does have red shoes. We could do some red. Keeps that white. If I go anything else, is it like oh, it's kind of weird, right? View white optional. Go you the same as the, no. 
That's weird too. I like it. It's cool. Okay, so we got impact. We got scenic. Got girthy. Girthy, I kind of want to do some work too. Same thing with the tetra. But we are at that threshold, so we're going to go ahead and wrap on up. And in the next one, now that we're done with the arena stuff. I think we're gonna go ahead and tackle uh, the next uh, campaign mission. So thanks for tuning on in, guys. I will see y'all in the next one.